She had to go and suck up to the... What do you call the boat? Landlord of the motel? I don't know. The one that owns it. I went in there and I said, How you going? Is it good? You in a good mood today or what? <laughs> and she looked at me and said, Why? What have you done? <laughs> you got anything to say before we go? No. That's unusual. That's a fucking change, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Get out the back and get us enough cart and that too. <laughs> I've only got one left. <laughs> only got one left. I need yeah. some for the locals. I said, we're local now. We've been here yeah. three fucking days. Well, I think this is the first time we've um, seen a stream. Because it's PG rated, our shows, we can't show Grog all the time. Some of the time, yes. After four o'clock in the day, that's not so bad. After eight o'clock of the night, she starts getting risky. Oh, risky. <laughs> yeah, things start coming out of yeah. bags, apparently. Don't show yeah. your kids after. If we put a clip on after eight o'clock of the night, don't whatever you do, don't let the kids see it. This is where we left off in part 11, coming up to Sorrel after leaving Port Arthur, where we stayed for for the last three nights, and what a fantastic sight that is. Well, we're heading out to Richmond today for the night. Come along with us and enjoy, guys. So, we're going to head down to Richmond, aren't we, babe? We're, we've got a cabin for the night. Why? Because we can. Simple, isn't it? Simple as that. What's that gravel there on the middle of the road? Oh fuck, I'm down. So it's only uh, from the turn off there, it's only about 11 kilometres into Richmond. It's not that far really, is uh, it? It's not far at all. It's a very old area, this area of Richmond. Oldest bridge in Australia there, still being used. Made by the convicts? Oh, I don't know, I guess so, I don't know babe. I don't know who built it. Maybe not, maybe, I don't know. And there are the beautiful rolling hills surrounding Richmond. We can see Richmond off in the distance, right there. Probably see the tops of some houses. And a church. Yeah, there's a couple of nice old churches here in Richmond. Yeah. Quite a few nice old things, actually. She's a nice little town. Get off the road, Nicola. <laughs> Get off. Oh, oh yeah. bloody hell, that was close. Bloody little thing. Oh, look, oh. He's, he's right in front of me. Yeah, oh, lucky I hit my brake because I had him otherwise. Yep, that was really close. Yes. Had no sense of direction, that one. No, you don't come back in front of a bike. Yeah, you're trying to get away from you. He knew you could get away from the 103. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Didn't even have to put my feet down. Marvellous, eh? Perfect. This is the old Richmond ton. Bridge, babe. Yep. It says 25 ton. Yeah. Will we make it? Oh, I think so, babe. Just. This is the Richmond Bridge, the old Richmond. We'll bring you down later and we'll have a little bow peek at that, won't we, Bo? Yeah. The sandstone arches of the Richmond Bridge have spanned Tasmania's coal river since 1825. Built by convict labour, it is Australia's oldest surviving large stone arch bridge. Its design and build were a significant technical achievement for the new colony. And for 10 years, it had the longest span of any bridge in Australia, still in use today. It is an enduring reminder of the forced migration of convicts and the use of their labour for the development of the new colony. We'll go to the left, babe. Yeah, this is the main street here. We got lost in Richmond, my God. <laughs> it just keeps getting worse for Kimmy Russ Adventures. <sighs> this is the main street, guys. Richmond is known as Tasmania's most significant historic town. Richmond is set in gently undulating country on the banks of the Coal River. 
It has no fewer than 45 buildings dating back to the Georgian times and listed on the national estate. Although it is important historically, in recent times Richmond's proximity to Hobart has ensured that it has become a hugely popular tourist attraction, which has resulted in stone houses, commercial buildings and hotels being converted into galleries, gift shops, cafes, serving Devonshire teas, restaurants, craft shops and museums. Richmond is located 27 kilometres northeast of Hobart via the Tasman Highway and Richmond Road. The boys in blue, they're after you, so be careful. You'll all coast it down here. Yep. Poo-see-em. What poo was it? poo see Yeah. Yeah, they got poos. Yeah, they must have. Yeah. Well, um, insect poos and stuff. And human. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, they have. I'm going in there. Oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> it's not for that reason. Right, we'll just wait. We'll see what sort of bike this is. All right. Yep, you hook around to the left there. Oh, it's an Indian. Indian, is it? She's a dark horse. Yeah. God. Three chockers, babe. Yep. Isn't it? Big drain here. Go that way and you'll be right, probably. But you've got another drain here, too. Oh. Okay, I'll go in here, babe. I'll go in and I'll see if they'll let me in and see. Well, they might let you in. Oh, if, if they've heard about you, they probably won't. Probably not. The nah. cops have been here to warn them. Yeah, I reckon. 36. Yep, 36, my dear. So, he said 36, which is this one. It's fairly solid as hell. Just come around. Just come around in here and leave it here. Then you can just drive out that way. And point it back out that way. Point it out that way. Yeah, I reckon I'll be right. What? I can get in around there. Okay. Sure. I'm going to try and help you, babe. Yeah, you've done well. Thank you. What are you doing now? I'm just going to make sure it's going to sit there. Yep, she'll sit. She's solid underneath there, babe. Fairly solid by the looks of her. Or maybe not so. <laughs> maybe yours isn't. Uh, okay. Oh, we've got a nice little area there. Yeah. Haven't right we? In the park. Yep. Right here. We'll open this up and we'll get in there. You've got a tunnel a there tunnel? to play in. Where have we got? Oh. You can crawl through that to get under the mountain. And we? Oh, look, we've got a big table on chairs. Uh. Yeah, big person's one. And it's nice and comfortable. By the looks of that. The Richmond Caravan and Cabin Park offers a range of accommodation and has cabins, campsites, powered and unpowered sites. Park facilities include campus, kitchen, gas barbecue, half sites, tennis court, kiosk, games room, playground and swimming pool. All cabins are ensuited and are fully self-contained. Equipped with television, cooking facilities, reverse cycle air conditioning. Some cabins offer double bed and bunks, others offering two queen and a single bed. G'day guys! How you going? Hi! We're going pretty good, aren't we? You know why? Because we're still on holidays, aren't we, babe? <laughs> and we're, we're still enjoying our and we're still time enjo together. Our time. You've been off centre there, babe. There you go, that's a bit better. Yeah, still enjoying our... Together, yeah. It's, it's getting week. hard, I can tell you. <laughs> it's only but, been a week, so. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm, we're still on holidays, yeah? Well, no, we're rugged up because you know why? <laughs> we're in Richmond tonight. There's the bikes right there, look. The Master Blaster there and the piece of shit there. But it doesn't matter. The wind is screaming through here tonight, isn't it, eh? Actually, the wind stopped now, but we, yeah, we got actually... cold from the wind screaming through yeah. this afternoon. So we're at Richmond tonight at the Caravan Park. We thought we'd pop in here, have a little bit of a walk around, didn't we? Around the town and done a few things. Had a good good ride up from Port Arthur today, didn't we? We did. Beautiful. A bit chilly when we left this morning, but good. We had an absolutely fantastic three nights there. We're on them now. Yeah, we've done we've done what we've had to do today. So Kim's cooking tea soon tonight, yeah? 
actually <laughs> put it. We'll show you later. Yeah, we'll show you later. Yeah. So I'll just show you around our little caravan, our little abode for the night. Because Kimmy's got no makeup on. Look, what do you reckon, guys? Does she look any good with makeup or without? Do you with, reckon? With. Sure. Okay. So this is our caravan park here. Look. Swing set there. Apparently. Apparently, Kim reckon she's swinging tonight. <laughs> I don't know if she means that or something else. There, there are tradies up the back of the caravan park, so who knows? <laughs> yeah, where? She already freaking. Hey, you just wait till I upload a video. We're on the boat and she's perving on some bloke, and I caught her and I had the GoPro on. Wait till I upload that one. Right, there's the bikes. This is our cabin. There, yeah, there's a few vans in here, isn't there? That's pretty good, you know, for COVID. Right, this is our room. Room review. So we got a stove and a microwave, a full top, full size fridge, and Kim's cooking tonight. We've got a settee. We've got the mod cons. We've got a telly. This is Kim's room here. As you can see, it's all fucking messy. This is my room. Yep, that's what it's come to on the road. Separate rooms. This is a shitter. Hey, you left skitties again. Jesus Christ, and that's, they go there, Rusty, <laughs> and that there's the shower. Nice cubicle, as of yet. Really don't know how Kim's going to fit in there, but, yeah, she might have to, she might have to sit on the head down, I might just have to turn the shower head on her or something, I'm not real sure. Anyway, we've even got a kitchen table here tonight, look at this. It's pretty good in the bay. And this here, we got rabbit ears for a telly. I have not seen that since I was a kid. What about you, babe? And when we used to get the coat hangers out and put them in the back of the telly to try and get the telly going. So I don't know how our digital, I don't know how our digital TV is going to go tonight. I'm thinking if I sit on the edge of the shower, you can sponge me. I'm not sponging nothing. She stinks, man. I tell you. Save water and sponge. Yeah, right. Hey, then, guys. We gotta go. Got a few more. Funny, we pulled up rich and we said to the bloke, where's the best place to buy grog from? He looked at his laugh, said surreal. Yeah no, that's 14 K's way. I said, right, we dumped the gear off and off we tried and put a carton on the back of Kim's bike. Yeah, I'm the bloody carton. I'm the one that carries all the See that Darren Sale, she's turned into the mule. Yeah, the into mule. the mule. Yeah, the and mule. she she carries everything, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm carrying he said oh the most important thing sitting on my bike before the carton got on there was, was her. Yeah. Once that carton went on there, the most important thing was the carton, let me tell you. I said if you drop that, God help you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've got to go. As you might have seen, we've got some beautiful pictures of the Richmond Bridge on there, haven't we, babe? Yeah, and we'll, we'll show you the tea later. I'm cooking it. Yep, she's cooking it. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting, I can tell you now. Yeah, it could be interesting. I could be walking <laughs> up the road to the pub, I reckon. In the bath and you're sponging me. <laughs> well, I'm not sponging you, mate. You can sponge I can't sponge you. We've got no sponge. <laughs> Apart from you. <laughs> so Rusty's heating the pan up. For our tea, ready for our tea. Nothing in there, I don't think. Oh, he has got stuff in there. What do you got in there, babe? Oh, what's going on? What is in here? Okay. <laughs> this is what he's got going. He's all out of control, babe. Yeah. Yep. It looks good, babe. He's hoping they'll heat up. I'm sure they will, eh? Yeah, they will. They'll heat up. You unwrapped them! I did because I wanted to see what was in there. Oh, fuck's sakes. I've got them already, mate. There you go. What do you got temperature on? Minimum. I'll put them on medium. I'll yeah, soup right. them up, eh? Soup them up. Yeah. So, we're back here, guys, at the frying pan. And this. We just took the paper off the, paper off the chips. And they were actually working. This is... Looking pretty good. We just put them in the frying pan. They're heating up nicely. They are? Yeah, they're good, aren't they? Yeah. This has done well. Yeah. And we've got buns here ready to go. You've got a gun on everybody. Stubby there. We've got the chook in here. 
something chooky chook. Rusty's getting that out. <laughs> Rusty's going to get the chook out and chop it up. And we've got we've got stuff in here. Cold salt. More buckets done. Frozen. It's frozen. Suckers on you. Anyway, we'll come back to you when it's ready. Well, needless to say, tea was beautiful and cooked perfectly. We had a look around the park, and of course, we had a few stubbies in the meantime. Well, I did get a bit worried about the bikes sinking in the gravel out the front overnight. So, made up some kickstand pads. As soon as we drunk, two six packs, we were right. Under the kickstand they went. They were good all night long. Okay, so we're just about to leave. In Richmond, aren't we, babe? Yeah, babe. Hey, yeah. I've got to put my kickstand down. Look, she's gone, she's gone, found me. Mind you, she's got no fucking idea where she's going. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that now. Have you, babe? See ya. Go around about a bit. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So that was our accommodation for the night, that unit down the end there. This the last one here on my right, right now. Okay, so we're going into Richmond. We're going to get some brekkie first, aren't we? Before we go anywhere. Yeah? Yep. She's not very talkative, is she? Must be hung over still. No, I was just checking my bike. It's a bit unbalanced. I think I've got too many of your clothes in my bag. Oh, is that right? Yes. Is the front end unbalanced or rear end? Rear. <laughs> 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 imbalance. Rear end, eh? Rear end. <laughs> that rear end's been imbalanced for a while, babe. Anyway, <laughs> we will proceed. Okay, guys, we're off. We just had a brekkie over there. Some bacon and eggs, didn't we? Yep, yep. Very nice. What's this car doing a U-turn, or is he parking there? Not parking there. God, you wouldn't know with people around here. They're in a very relaxed state here, aren't they, babe? Yeah. Anyway, that's Richmond. In it, my dear. It is. So, we're coming down into Glenorchy now. Not far away, coming across the Bowen Bridge in Hobart, aren't we, babe? Yep. So, we're heading out on a beautiful day out to Morning Tick. Oh, no, not Morning Tick. That's on the weekend, isn't it? You know, folk. We're heading out to New Norfolk for the night to have a little bit of a look. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going as fast as I can drive. A thousand miles down the road to keep this dream alive. I know it's not this city or the next. It has the best for me But as long as I keep driving I got the whole damn world to see So give me the highway The music calm, the windows down It's my way And give me the low way Want an ornament there for you? No, uh, not that one. No. You're better than that one, sweetie. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's okay, but I've got everything I want, babe. Have you? You yep. got your Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want and need. Now, yeah, motel's down here, so we'll go in here. So we had a little explore of the main street, but we're going up there later, aren't we, babe? We've got a big hill to walk up. Oh, you poor thing. Um, motel. Oh, no, it's down further, babe. Fucking no. Well, what are you fucking 20 metres, the sign says. It's more than fucking 20 metres. Oh, I don't know about this one. Look, it's decorated up like a fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> For fuck's sake. You can't miss it, he said. Where's reception? Did you see reception in here? Fucking hell. Isn't it pretty? Okay. Um, Where's reception? I don't know. Back down there, I reckon. Tell. 
Yeah. I'll just, no, I'll just park here. Fucking pretty. Fucking hell. Look at this place, guys. Just take a look at it. <laughs> so where's reception? Back there, I reckon. Okay. I'll find it, babe. Right, so this is a very interesting place in the babe. Yeah. Have a look at it. Have a look at this, guys. Just have a look. I'll take you for a walk around. We can park them undercover there if we want, he said. 14, 20, 20, 19's right in the corner. I feel like I'm in Indonesia. Do you feel like you're in Indonesia? Yeah, Bor Borneo or somewhere, babe, yes. Oh, look at the place. It's beautiful. It's alternate. It's alternate. <laughs> We've gone alternate. Do you wait till all the fuck? Over my way, babe. Um, you wait till all the people see this fucking place. They'll think we're going overseas. <laughs> Indonesia. We're in Jakarta. <laughs> Somewhere, anyway. I'll turn the GoPro off. The GoPro's going to have a shock. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, open her up, babe. Open her up. We'll, we'll see if the inside's anything like the outside. Oh dear, oh, and oh, they reckon, no, yeah, have. they reckon use Google before you go to places, but hey, who the fuck never used Google? Oh. Look, grandma's seats. Where's our bed? <laughs> oh, it's in here. Oh. Where's our bed? Oh. oh my God, I feel like I'm back in the 50s. Here's our bed. Oh, we've got a caramel like koala. Look, 50s. Oh. Rusty. Oh. Well. I don't know, babe. It's going to scare you, though, when you wake up. Yep, yeah, Marvel. Marvel. Well, I never, ever, ever. Have you, babe? Never. <laughs> I tell you what, guys. This is the first motel Kim has picked. So far on the trip, okay? It's beautiful. Now, old Rusty, he made a mistake. I admit that. <laughs> Rusty said she could pick a motel, yeah, and I'll ring him. What Rusty never did was Google the motel, did he? <laughs>